find out by video, but you will be the first students to know. Uh, just a quick one before we go on to the votes. Um, these are your votes from yesterday in terms of the law students. And you can see there was a hung parliament between Labour and UKIP. A lot different, obviously, um, than the results that are coming through at the moment. I don't know whether, is it definitely Conservative? Yeah, yeah? pretty much. Okay, so on to the votes uh, that matters more importantly to you. Uh, just a couple of headlines. Um, about 589 uh, students and staff voted. Um, we had nine head boy and eight head girl votes that were discarded. They were either empty or they were unclear as to what votes. That's a really, really good turnout. If we look at your percentages, there we go. Really, really good turnout. It's a much higher turnout than what we tend to get for the general election. So we had 96% of year sevens, we had 93% of year eights, 95% of year nines, 90 of year ten. And then a really good turnout for year 11, 41%, because they weren't given a lesson to go and vote. And they came during break and lunch. And obviously they are leaving. And I think that's amazing that they actually still wanted to have a say on the school. Um, and then we had 94% of staff vote as well. Um, and um, generally, on average, a general election is about 70, 76%. So we are beating that as a school. And you are getting a lot more involved than probably the rest of the UK do. And I hope that when you are old enough, when you're 18, to vote, that you still will keep up with those percentages. Because every vote matters. And every decision that these MPs make, it's important that you support a party and that you get your say. Um, that's how the percentages have changed in the general election over time. You can see there's a massive dip in 2001. Only 60% of the UK voted. Um, I don't really know a reason for that, but you can see it is on the increase in the last two general elections. Okay, so, um, on to your results. And obviously we're going to do the head boys first. I'm going to do it very formally of how they've been doing it this morning. So, I'm ready to declare the results of Fairham Academy's head boy results. I, Mrs. Katie King, acting returning officer, hereby give notice that the total number of votes for each candidate for the whole of Fairham Academy is as follows. Ross Tinney, 251. Ryan Crooks, 104. Josh Osborne, 225. <laughs> that Ross Tinney has been duly elected as head boy for Fairham Academy. Well done. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank the returning officer, Mrs King, for all the hard work she's done. And um, I'd like to thank all the other candidates. They were really good. They were deserving as well. I look forward to representing you for next year. Okay, head girl results. So, I am ready to declare that the results for Fairham Academy's head girl results. I, Mrs. Katie King, acting returning officer, hereby give notice that the total number of votes for each candidate for the whole of Fairham Academy is as follows Sophie Rouse, 101. Sophia Wilde, 165. Lizzie Howe, 350. Um, thanks, I guess. Uh, I'd also like to say a massive thank you to Miss King, returning officer, and for you guys for voting. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully you're right, this will be you in a couple of years, and hopefully it's inspired you um, to push yourselves a little bit, because I can imagine these guys would never have thought they would have done it a couple of years ago. Um, and we do have, amongst us, our new uh, our head girl and head boy in a couple of years. Um, I would like to say well done to all six of you, because you have done absolutely amazing, um, and I'm really looking forward to see the changes that you're going to make next year. Okay, lovely. And that... Uh, it's going to go up on the screens um, and then hopefully by reception as well we're going to have a poster as well so that all visitors know who our senior student leadership
team are, and they are your student leadership team. Thank you very much.